Duluth Aerial Lift Bridge, Duluth Aerial Lift Bridge, Saginaw. Saginaw, this is the Aerial Bridge, John 10. 10, sir. Aerial Bridge on 10. Hello, sir. Just wondering what your anemometer is reading inside there. All right, now we've got about 10 knots out of the uh, west, uh, slightly northwest. Uh, we've had gusts up about 15 to 20, but uh, sustained winds about 10 knots. Oh, that's good news. We're slowly petering out out here with the lee and the and the system passing. We got about steady 20 now from the west. We had 50 about six, seven hours ago, so we just reduced speed and planned on getting here when it started to peter out a little bit. And it looks like it's uh, steady 10 is steady 10 is much nicer than uh, anymore. Yeah, absolutely, Cap. I hear you. Yeah, not a problem. I, I'm gonna let you guys get a little closer within a mile and a half than if you guys are battling the wind heading in this way. Yeah, Roger that. I'll give you a call when we're a mile and a half. Uh, we got a couple pugs on order. They'll be waiting inside for us. Yeah, Roger that, Cap. Sounds good. Probably better getting in now before the storm comes in through. Yeah, I think it's supposed to go southwest, isn't it? Or southeast? Southeast, actually. Southeast. Well, I know we're supposed to get some uh, uh, winds out of the uh, what is it, south southwest. Uh, from what I'm seeing from the uh, National Weather Service, and then some uh, quite a bit of snow too. <laughs> Roger that. Oh my, it's been a battle. The wind has been around for the last two months, and uh, we're getting forecast 20-25, and we're getting uh, 40s to 50s. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's been worse out there for you guys, too. So, yeah, it's been an unusual year this year, but uh, winter's finally here, it seems like. So, I guess we can't complain. <laughs> oh, no, that's what it is. It's the new normal now, I think. Okay, we'll talk to you shortly. Thank you. Hey, you bet, Cap. We'll see you soon. Bridge 16. Uh, sorry, Duluth, <laughs> Duluth Aerial Bridge on 16. Duluth Aerial Bridge on 16. Saginaw. Saginaw Aerial Bridge, I see you guys are about a mile and a half out. I'll uh, go ahead and start, start things up for you in about a minute or so. Roger, yeah, we're going a little under check, a little slower than normal, just because we're going a little closer to normal. But we're about right now about 19 minutes at this speed. Yeah, Roger that, Cap. I'll let you get a little closer then. I, we did just, we're just at a, uh, the current meter just switched, so it's an uh, inbound current at this time as well. Inbound current, Roger, thank you. See you shortly. Spinning them around and we'll go from there. Okay, sounds good. All right, we're working channel 66. Okay, I'll go 66 here right now. I think that made the crowd very happy, Captain. You guys enjoy your visit. <laughs> that was a great crowd. We enjoy being happy. Thank you. We'll see you in the way out probably 24 hours or so. I'll be longer. Uh. Good afternoon, visitors. The boat you currently see arriving through the Duluth Ship Canal is the Saginaw. The Saginaw was built in 1953 as
address be John J. Bowen by the Manitowoc Shipbuilding Company of Manitowoc, Wisconsin. She measures 639 feet in length, 72 feet in width. <laughs> measures 639 feet in length, 72 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. She's powered by an 8,200 horsepower six-cylinder Mack diesel engine, which gives her a top speed of 14 knots, or about 16 miles per hour. She's also equipped with bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The Saginaw has 30 hatches on her deck, which open into six cargo holes located below deck, each hatch covering measures 45 by 9 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 20,200 tons. Above her deck is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 6,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Saginaw is currently owned and operated by Lower Lakes Towing of Port Dover, Ontario, Canada, a subsidiary of Brand Logistics of Jersey City, New Jersey. The Saginaw is coming into the Twin Ports today to unload grain at Riverland Ag. She's uh, on her way down from Thunder Bay, Ontario, where she loaded that grain. Once the grain is discharged, she will leave the Twin Ports to load iron ore pellets at Canadian National up in Two Harbors, Minnesota. If you see any crew members on deck, make sure to give them a big wave and welcome them back to the Twin Ports. John J. Boland by the Manitowoc Shipbuilding Company of Manitowoc, Wisconsin. She measures 639 feet in length, 72 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. The Saginaw is arriving in the Twin Ports today. Uh, she came down from Thunder Bay, Ontario, and she'll be unloading grain at Riverland Ag, and then departing the Twin Ports to load iron ore pellets at Canadian National in Two Harbors, Minnesota. If you see any crew members on deck, make sure to give them a big wave and welcome them back to the Twin Ports. 